sleeping, there came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, I thought the voice of angels in heaven as He was a simple but a very dedicated and generous person. That was how family members, friends, and well-wishers summed up the life of late Pa Samson Adebay or Balogun during an event to lay him to rest. Late Balogun was the father of Reverend Father Stephen Balogun, the parish priest of St. Anne's Catholic Church, Ogbere Ibadan. Mr. Balogun died on the 11th of July 2018 at the age of 65, leaving everybody who knew him with a heavy heart. Activities to give him a befitting burial began with a wake keep on the 9th of August 2018 at the Divine Mercy Catholic Church Monoton Ibadan. It was a moment of prayers, songs and tribute to a great man whose life was an epitome of simplicity. In his message to the guests, the parish priest of Divine Mercy Parish, Reverend Father Julius Shongo Keye, said that we should live our lives well so that on that day God will welcome us into heaven. Let us examine our lives. Occasions like this have to help us to really focus on how we live our own life. Let us live well so we can die. As we live, so we die. The next day, the 10th of August, 2018, a funeral mass was held to further pray for the repose of the soul of Mr. Balogun with a large assembly of priests, reverend sisters, parishioners, friends, relatives and well-wishers. Events like these, according to Reverend Father Darlington Agubosim, who delivered the homily, is a wake-up call to the reality and inevitability of death. Everybody will die and so we must prepare. We do not have time to waste. We need to prepare for our death. Death will come knocking at the time we may not expect. Mr. Samson, but no one was sick for a while. But after the time, he got well again. And we were rejoicing that Baba was getting stronger. But you see, we do not know. Therefore, we need not waste our time. Most Reverend Gabriel Leke Abegunrin, the Archbishop of Ibadan Catholic Archdiocese, concluded the burial mass with the final commendation and farewell prayers. <laughs> I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to more than I can be. The journey to the great beyond continued with the interment at the family compound as the children and friends greeted him with an emotional goodbye. We commend our father Samson, and did by your balogun to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his peace and raise up his body on the last day through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
may our soul rest in perfect peace. Life of late Pa Samson Adebay Obalogun revolved around his family, the church, and his engineering profession. He was a caring father, a reliable husband, and a faithful Christian. The children and those who knew him testified to how he affected so many lives during his impactful stay on earth. He's a man of God. Even at sick bed, you see be saying, Ore. I will be healed. Mother Mary will heal me. I will normally call him Mr. Good Morning. Either it is in the evening, in the morning, in the afternoon. Easy going, quiet, and a man of God. I know I knew him to be a very quiet, easy going man. You can hardly see him in anything. He comes, attending mass. I mean he was a devoted Catholic. I can assure you he was a devoted Catholic. And I know Baba very much. Baba is a good man. Very quiet. The way he's living life is very pleased to everybody. Baba is a devoted Catholic. Very, very devoted. Well, since our mom died, um, my dad had been holding on, struggling with health. And um, I'm happy that God gave us the privilege to take care of him for these eight years. It was not easy. We thought we would lose him about um, four years ago, but God kept him till now. But in everything, we just have to appreciate his goodness in our lives. Gratitude is just our song. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Indeed, this is one huge loss to his family, friends, and the church. He would be greatly missed by all. May his soul find rest in the Lord's bosom. Open door and I can't feel at home in this world.